wow, there is a massive cheating scandal involving the SAT, the ACT, and admissions to a number of elite colleges. Rick Singer, a college consultant, masterminded a scheme in which he would be paid anywhere from $15,000 to $75,000 to arrange to have students' SATs and ACTs taken for them. It appears a major piece of the scam that these families and Rick Singer were running were to pay bribes to administrators and coaches to have their students designated as recruited athletes. Three thoughts on this. One, this is gross. This is despicable behavior on the part of these families that are trying to cheat this college admission system. They are taking away spots from students who have worked hard for years in order to earn those spots, taking spots away from athletes who have worked hard for years in order to earn status as highly recruited athletes. And it smears the good work of hundreds of people in the college admissions offices of these colleges, honest college consultants, honest people that help students prepare for the SAT and the ACT, and all I can say is shame on anyone who was involved in this, anyone who accepted money for this, and even those who just enabled this or happened to look the other way when they knew it was going on. Two, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say if you have to give anywhere north of a million dollars to help your student be admitted to a certain college, maybe that's not the right college for them. Maybe it's not the right fit and you should consider other options. Last, while I'm saddened by today's news and deeply disappointed that there were so many people involved in it, I hope people can use this as a moment of reflection, especially the families that are entering this college admissions process in the near future. Think about what you want this process to be for you and your family. This can be a time to think about where you've come from, where you are, and where you want to go. Who do you want your son or daughter to become, and what college might help them become that person in the future. I think if we do that, we'll quickly see that in college admissions and in life, when you cheat, you usually get caught. And this is a chance to teach our kids the value of hard work, of persistence, of knowing who you are and being honest with yourself. If we do that, we'll all be a little bit better off.